Well, it's like, I think the other issue is top rank basically signed all the Olympians from this year. So, I mean, it's like, you're not getting the true top guys. And that's always an issue too, when you don't get the Olympians, because one of those guys is going to be a big ticket seller. Let's talk about Mm -hmm. Sky Nicholson. Um, She jumps off as kind of like a movie actress looking person. Like she looks like she'd be in the new Batman before the show. We were talking about the Batman movie. She looks like she'd be like a love interest to Batman. She'd be in the movie pro athlete. I like her mentality that she wants to jump in there, take meaningful fights, stay active music to my ears. Um, Comparison to me. And I've always kind of thought this watching her in the Olympics and all that stuff. I always thought she could be a star because she looks good and talented fights like Demetrius Andre her legs kind of lead the action her hands are wherever she wants them but she's always going to be really awkward I feel like that's going to be the Sky Nicholson thing is she's just going to be awkward kind of not unlike Demetrius Andre kind of like an impromptu jazz musician plays music to their own rhythm as a boxer I can see that comparison a little bit. I, I think the biggest takeaway from Nicholson last night, because it's a pro debut, and it, it, the first night that she was facing in Juarez was a late replacement Southpaw, and Southpaws, as you know, Luke, are just hard to look good against no matter what you're doing. And the style that Nicholson was doing was that she didn't really, I think he was nerves as well, because she wasn't doing much in this fight at all. Granted, she won clean on the cards, but that's because they, they, the scorecards are the scorecards, whatever. But the one thing that she was doing that I did like a lot was that from a distance, if, if she gets you in a, in a certain mid range where you can't get anywhere close to her, it's a problem, and she's gonna out punch you. She's gonna she's gonna jab you to sleep. I've realized that early on in this fight. But the one issue, and I'm sure that this will be rectified unless she listens to the game tape and whatnot. Whenever Wars was able to come in and pressure and, and press the action and pretty much keep uh, keep it up in 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 close with her, with the nickels in this one, she had was the only time that people thought she may have had issues in this fight, if any whatsoever. I didn't really think it was anything in danger here. I, it also the. the, the, the the, the, the woman she was facing in Juarez was the local out of San Diego. So when they read the scorecards, you heard the boos and whatnot. That's because they booed. They thought the hometown woman won. So, but nonetheless, I thought I thought she was fine for what it was. It, I think it's just nerves. I, I, I think we'll see a better performance out, out of Nicholson. It turns out, you know, when, once she figures everything out in the ring. But no, she has a look. I mean, she came out the sweet sensation by NXS, Luffy. That's that's high. That that the bar's already set pretty high in terms of ring walk music already for her. I'm, I'm already I'm I'm sold. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see what happens from here. Yeah, I mean. I think the big fight is there's a a 2024 Olympian for Team Great Britain and Caris uh, Artenstall, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I believe um, she's going to be really fast tracked as a pro. I think Sky Nicholson will win a world title more than likely. She had trouble with fighters that were longer. She kind of at the Olympics, she lost to Caris in uh, the first round. I think that's really the fight because that's going to be. when she, when Art and Stahl gets into the pros, she's gonna have a lot of knockouts. Sky is gonna be awkward. Sky is gonna be very likable. Sky is gonna probably like not unlike Fraser Clark, she's probably gonna be a broadcaster for ten to twenty years after being a boxer. She's just gonna be very likable. She's gonna make your weekend of watching boxing better. But I think these two are going to be rivals as pros, and they're in the same weight class. And why not get Sky going now? And then when Art and Stahl gets going. She can jump right in, and within maybe three or four fights, if Art and Stahl were able to win a medal, that's the fight in a couple of years. That's a treat to see about how that plays out down the line. And but we'll see how how they fast track Nicholson actually, because I think she may be more advanced at that point. Right? We're waiting about twenty twenty four. But I, I do wonder with just Nicholson, just the whole style wise, how will that translate against other women fighters that aren't late replacement southpaws? Because I think. Uh, her style is this one that actually will actually, I think will hopefully press the issue a lot more in fights. So I, I'm actually looking forward to see how that all works out. And as you mentioned with the, with the Olympic rivals, man, these, these are the fights with women's boxing that I think are going to re- pretty much leapfrog women's boxing into the next level down the line with the next three to four years. And that's going to be definitely one of them. Yeah, I mean, she's, I looked at the matchroom press conference with the women's boxers and it cracked me up because it was just a bunch of white women that kind of looked, that were just different weight classes. And I was just thinking, hey, I'm but Luki, where, where are the white women at? Yeah, I'm, I was just kind of like, I felt like I was a space alien because it was just like five white women that were in different weights. And it's like, I don't know, maybe I'm trying to be woke or something, but like maybe I'd get like a talented Mexican fighter up there or a black woman or something because it just the visual, it was like Eddie Hearn, white guy and five white women talking about women's boxing. I just, I, I, 
it was strange, but um, Sky's talented. She's just going to be an awkward boxer. She, the I could see people wondering about her power. Maybe she knocks someone out here and there, but she's just going to be disruptive. She's she might have trouble against people that are tall. She might have trouble against people with power, but she's going to be one of the best people in her weight class. Well, she's now she's one to keep an eye out for. And I thought she was interesting, but just just talking to her afterwards, just just getting just getting her mindset about it. Like she's really locked in, Luffy. That's the one thing I can tell you flat out. Very humble. So I, I thought just talking to her just a whole was really neat as well. Just seeing this, just picking her brain on just some things that she had in the fight. And she she, she did mention that, that that she was nervous about, about the first half of it. So I, I'm, it's a wait and see. I mean, I'm I'm not one to to, to criticize and, and scrutinize on, on on these kids with less than ten pro fights because you, you just you, you you just can't. So I, I'm I'm on the way to find out. <laughs> She seems like a nice person. I feel like a dick if I said anything too mean. You know, she seems like a genuinely nice person. Uh, my guy, Mark Castro, got off the deck to win. I brought.